Hey guys, how y'all doing? Uh, just came on here for a moment. Talk to y'all about the, uh, something. Um, <clears throat> but before we get into that, let's get into a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us and guide us and guide us and protect us throughout this day, Father God. Lead us. Lord, our steps and show us the way. I pray that you come through me, Father God, at this moment in time, Father God, in order to speak to them and give them absolute truth. And I pray, Father God, that you let the Holy Spirit come through me at this moment in time, Father God, and we pray and um, we give them absolute truth at this moment in time. And I thank you for listening to my prayer, Father God. Amen. All right. I want to talk to y'all about some two things, two topics. This is the thing. One, y'all be safe out there with these uh, things they trying to push out at this moment in time. The reason why they trying to push it at this moment in time is because the first is going to become last and the last is going to become first. So they know that their time is up and that it's time for them to go. Okay? Um, what's going on is if you take those things that they have you would not be accepted in heaven. You understand? Um, I'm letting you know ahead of time. I won't say I told you something. But, not also, this is the second part. But they want you to be afraid of man. This is why he push fear and things like this. They want you to be afraid of man. Do not be afraid of man. A man can do not, nothing to you. But it is God who can um, damage the body and the soul. And condemn the body and, and soul into it. So... What's uh, going on is uh, <clears throat> they're trying to push it. Do you hear me? They're really trying to push it. So like I said, y'all be very, very careful out there at what you're thinking and what you're doing. Anything that they're pushing or anything that they're trying to do, and it's for free, <laughs> it's not good. I told you. It's not good. It's never good. They're never going to tell you the story by it. So, I told you. This is real. God's prophecy is fulfilling the earth. And it's going to fulfill. So, I'm going to tell you something. You finna see a lot of nonsense go on. You finna see a lot of uh, how can I say? Yeah. Yeah. You finna see a lot of nonsense go on, okay? Well, they have been throwing a lot of witchcraft on me and all types of things to stop me from doing things. They also been trying to stop me from that. Ministry and things like that from going on, but that's okay though. Just don't pay no mind to it. Don't even pay no mind to it. Just keep going, guys. Whatever you do, just keep going. Keep your faith in God. He's there. This also working. Um, a lot of things that's been going on, like 
like damn, they don't want to let me uh, upload some things to you about this world, which is not real. <laughs> um, you're about to see it. You're about to really, if you thought you was waking, you really about to wake up. Okay? Because God is about to wake you. He's about to, ain't no be no waking up. It's, you're going to be woke, woke. Um, this is why a lot of people are against these things because they don't like for people to um, know these things because they're lies. You know, uh, that you can see through their lies. That's what they don't like is that they can, you can see through their lies. And when you can see through their lies, it's hard for them to hide the lie, you know, or things like that. When you're looking directly at them and you know that they're lying to you. So, when they're lying to you, it's, 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 um, it's when you're using your discernment. And when you're using your discernment because the Holy Spirit is lying. You hear me? So, God has taken territory in a major way. For all those who came up against the Lord, like God, <laughs> He take over nations. He is the Lord. This is His. All of this is His. So, when man went up against God and went up against Jesus and wanted to take them out of the earth, Now you see it, what's happening. The Lord is not playing. He's really, he's he's really mad right now though. I'm gonna be honest with you, he's mad. He is mad. He's um uh, like the Lord. Jesus is there too. Jesus is mad too. But God has sit down on the throne. He's 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 doing some work, guys, and uh, he's like he don't he don't want to hear a lot of nonsense. He do not want to hear no nonsense. And I don't blame him because I've been going through a lot of nonsense. And I don't want to hear it. Um, this is this is just it's just it's just confirmation on things that he's doing at this moment in time. And what he's doing at this moment in time, because he tried to get them to render back to him, and they didn't do it, so now he's pulling the plug. He's pulling the plug on his world. He's pulling the plug on um, the things that they've been trying to cover up for so long. Okay? Um, you're going to see it. And he's also pulling the plug on their iniquities that they've been doing so long. It's It's over. It's over. The wicked one himself, this game, this things, things that's been going on, is over. It's over. All right. Um. Um. They've been trying to um stop him from coming through and doing his prophecy. Can't nothing. Can't nothing stop God's prophecies. Do you understand? Nothing. You can get in the way if you want to. You can get in the way if you want to and try and stop anything of God and try and come up against the Lord. You're going to lose. And you're going to lose bad. Not only that, you're going to lose something else that you don't want to lose. I'm telling you, you better stop it before you be in front of him with the nonsense that you've been going on with and carrying on. Thinking that you're smarter or you, you're Technology outbeats no, no. God is all power. Forget technology. He is technology. And this is where they get these things from. Because this what you think. The world that you live in is not the world you live in. I'm telling you. You're going to see it. And when you see it, and when you open your eyes, don't get scared. Okay? It's just God showing you and waking you all the way up. Okay? Um about what's really been going on behind the scenes and who is who and what is what, okay? Um, you're going to see these things. You're going to see it how he sees it from upstairs, okay? And uh, you have to uh, humble yourself, 
Because it might frighten you a little bit. Because you know. You know some things, but you don't know all things. Only he knows all things. Okay? And they can try and portray it all they want. But he can't portray it no more. But he's separating the church. I mean, he's separating the, um, the real children of God from the church, from uh, from the shaft, from the wheat. He's he's uh, he's uh, uh, he's removing wickedness. He's he's removing sin. All this is getting ready to go on throughout the earth. I'm telling you, like y'all don't understand. You don't know. You don't know. So I pray at this moment in time. That you come to the Lord Jesus Christ at this moment in time, I pray in the name of Jesus that you come to him and that you ask him of these such things. Do not bow to me. Do not, and I mean it, do not bow to him. They're nothing. Definitely, that's why they want you to bow. Definitely, they're about to leave. You understand? Do not. This is real. For the Lord God, thy God is coming. Not only that, he holds eyes and he holds his children in his hand. For a lot of things may be going on throughout the earth, but no thing shall come nigh thee. Okay? All these, these fine and all these, these pestilence and things like this that's going on, nothing shall come nigh thee, even though it's going on. You understand? But you still have to be, you know, careful about the situations and the decisions that you make at this moment in time. Because he is, he, he's, he's, he's rendering judgment. All flesh. All right. So, I pray that y'all take these. Uh, I pray that y'all take these messages to the Lord at this moment in time, Lord Jesus Christ, and um, y'all um, ask Him for forgiveness. Um, repent. Ask Him for forgiveness. Do some um, praying, some fasting, get in your Word, and also. Um, Build a uh, um, build a um, relationship with him, and I thank you for listening to this message. This is God's good news for you today. Y'all be blessed.